Hello, my name is Luke Connery, Product Manager for the Special Application Commercial Sprinkler Product Line with Tyco Fire Protection Products. I'm joining you today from the Frederick Grinnell Museum at the Global Technology Center in Cranston, Rhode Island, home to one of the most storied histories of sprinkler product development in the fire protection industry. For more than 100 years, this site has produced dozens of water-based technologies which have continuously transformed the state of the art. In this video, we will turn the spotlight to the Raven Sprinkler, which has been available for the institutional market since 2009. Since its launch, many institutional jurisdictions across the globe, prisons, courthouses, psychiatric facilities, and even a few dormitories, have selected the Raven Sprinkler as their go-to fire protection solution. The Raven Sprinkler, a flush solution available in both pendant and horizontal sidewall configurations, with either standard coverage or extended coverage spray patterns, possesses several characteristics which differentiate it from more traditional automatic sprinklers. The primary benefit of an institutional sprinkler is tamper resistance. The Raven sprinkler accomplishes this by combining the lowest profile facade available on the institutional market with an escutcheon that allows the sprinkler to sit completely flush to the installed surface. Given its unique tamper resistant nature, ideal installation of the Raven sprinkler requires slightly more attention to detail than a traditional sprinkler installation. So let's take a look at a typical institutional compartment and discuss a few installation best practices, which will help the contractor finish their installation with minimal rework and according to schedule. This mock-up will allow us to view a horizontal sidewall Raven sprinkler installation from three perspectives. From the front, within the wall cross section, and from the rear, where the sprinkler pipe connection is made to the supply pipe. Here we see a horizontal sidewall Raven sprinkler installed in each of the two compartments. Taking a closer look, you can see that each installation is actually a combination of sprinkler and escutcheon. When installing the Raven sprinkler, it is inserted through the escutcheon and then screwed into a sprinkler fitting by hand. When the installation is complete, a torque of between 7 and 14 foot-pounds pulls the sprinkler and the self-centering escutcheon into place completely square and flush to the mounting surface. Here we see a cross-section view of a horizontal sidewall Raven sprinkler installation. It is recommended that a 2-inch Schedule 40 steel pipe is used as a sleeve with a concrete bore, as shown in TFP 651. In our mock-up, a transparent acrylic tube is utilized as a sleeve for visualization purposes. Note the use of a centering grommet on the 1-inch sprinkler pipe. This centering grommet in conjunction with the retaining flange will work to center the sprinkler pipe in the sleeve and ensure proper mating of the Raven sprinkler with the sprinkler fitting. Here we see the rear of the installation with sprinkler pipes from the two compartments protruding into one shared pipe chase. Note that one of the installations utilizes a rigid piping connection, the other a flexible piping connection. A rigid connection requires a very high level of precision when installing the Raven sprinkler. Therefore, a flexible connection is recommended for ease of installation. As both sprinkler pipes protrude into the pipe chase, you can see that each is outfitted with a retaining flange. This component is critical to ensure a quality, rigid installation and allows for the highest level of tamper resistance. The neck of the retaining flange should fit into the inner diameter of the pipe sleeve, regardless of whether a rigid connection or flexible connection is used. Now that we have reviewed general Raven sprinkler installation considerations from each of the three perspectives, let's focus on the specific requirements of an installation utilizing both a rigid piping and flexible piping connection. As detailed in TFP 651, a nominal two and a half inch diameter bore should be located in the concrete wall and outfitted with a 2-inch Scheduled 40 steel pipe, which will serve as a sleeve for each Raven sprinkler installation. When installing the pipe sleeve, use a hammer if necessary to ensure a snug fit within the bore. Install the pipe sleeve to ensure the ends are made flush with the wall on both the front and rear of the installation. Take the 1-inch pre-measured and threaded sprinkler pipe complete with the sprinkler fitting and slide on the centering grommet from the threaded end. Locate the centering grommet so that it sits directly against the sprinkler fitting. Apply pipe thread sealant to the threaded end of the sprinkler pipe. Feed sprinkler pipe into the steel sleeve. When the threaded end of the sprinkler pipe first protrudes from the sleeve on the rear of the installation, 
slide on the retaining flange, but do not yet tighten the pipe set screws. Make the threaded end of the sprinkler pipe into the supply pipe fitting. When utilizing a rigid pipe installation, ensure the sprinkler pipe and supply pipe share a common center line. This will ensure the sprinkler pipe is centered within the pipe sleeve and enables a square sprinkler and escutcheon installation. Once the sprinkler pipe is made into the supply pipe fitting, slide the retaining flange against the rear wall, ensuring the neck of the retaining flange is inserted into the inner diameter of the 2-inch Schedule 40 steel pipe sleeve. Utilizing a flexible pipe connection makes centering the sprinkler pipe and ensuring a square and flush installation much easier, as the sprinkler pipe and supply pipe do not need to share a common center line. For this reason, a flexible connection is recommended for all Raven sprinkler installations. For a horizontal sidewall Raven sprinkler installation, it is critical that the face of the sprinkler fitting is centered and located at a depth of 1 and 5 16 of an inch from the face of the mounting surface within the pipe sleeve. If the fitting is too deep, the Raven sprinkler may not be sufficiently made into the sprinkler fitting without distorting the escutcheon and potentially the sprinkler. If the fitting is too shallow, the sprinkler and escutcheon may not sit flush against the mounting surface without having to over torque the installation, which could cause a sprinkler to leak and potentially result in faulty operation. With the face of the sprinkler fitting located at 1 and 5 16 of an inch from the mounting surface, we are now ready to install a horizontal sidewall Raven sprinkler. Remove the Raven sprinkler from the original shipping box. Carefully remove the orange protective cap. Make note of the SIN alignment dot on the sprinkler to ensure you are installing the correct sprinkler. Red for standard coverage horizontal sidewall sprinkler. The W25 wrench developed specifically for the Raven sprinkler fits correctly onto the sprinkler in only one orientation. Make note of the up arrow indication on the W25 wrench. When a horizontal sidewall sprinkler is installed correctly, the flat surface of the wrench will be parallel to the ceiling. Insert the three prongs of the W25 wrench onto the Raven sprinkler and place the escutcheon over the sprinkler. Install the assembly into the sprinkler fitting and make in until hand tight. Insert a half inch drive ratchet wrench into the W25 wrench. To help prevent slippage, use one hand to stabilize the W25 wrench on the Raven sprinkler and the other hand to tighten until snug. Using a torque wrench, install the Raven sprinkler to seven foot pounds of torque. Continue the installation as necessary to bring the sprinkler escutcheon assembly flush and square to the mounting surface. For a horizontal sidewall installation, the flat of the W25 wrench should be level parallel to the ceiling. To achieve this, use up to a maximum of 14 foot-pounds of torque. If the escutcheon is not held securely or does not sit squarely against the mounting surface, go to the rear of the installation Loosen the retaining flange, pull back on the supply piping, and refix the retaining flange as described earlier. This procedure applies to a flexible piping connection as well. Recheck for parallel with a W25 wrench and level. Confirm that a maximum of 14 foot pounds of torque has been used. If at any time the Raven sprinkler is torqued beyond the upper limit of 14 foot pounds, discard the sprinkler and replace with a new one. Thank you for viewing this video discussing the Raven Institutional Sprinkler. I hope you found it helpful in understanding installation best practices. For additional information regarding the Raven Sprinkler and other water-based fire protection solutions, please visit our website at www.tyco-fire.com. Should you have any additional questions regarding the Raven Sprinkler or any of our other products, our industry-leading technical services group can be reached at techserve at tycofp.com. Thank you for your continued interest in Tyco Fire Protection products. Until next time, I'm Luke Connery. See you around the industry.